it takes a talented team to be able to beat out a lot of those uh, really, really talented teams from other regions in the Asia qualifier for some of these big competitions. Arguably, more experienced and more talented players than you're fielding in your D13 roster. So I want to know what all the fuss is about, Jordan. I'm about to find out. Indeed, you are. It's D13 on the T side here. Love to see Mara picking up the Julies. I think it was Machine <laughs> Gun yesterday that gave that a crack and just got basically yeah. deleted from he got the server by Danking. Yeah. So we'll see if it goes a little bit better here for Mara on the CT side of Nuke. Mm, D13 taking their time here on this T-Pistol, waiting for any kind of pushes from Marzali. Score, one of the youngsters on the D13 side, wielding the P250. Hasn't found any heads with it just yet, but surely he's going to continue forward with that flashbang. Era fairly, fairly split set up here by D13. They're going to try and sneak a couple of players into secret, and it's not so much a, a sneak because they have been spotted, though they did manage to get one player down. That was score, and it's up to Annihilation to lock down Outer for as long as he can, which doesn't end up being for a particularly large amount of time, but it does give that opportunity for D13 to get the bomb plant down on B, and now we'll see what Tamir is going to be able to do. Should be double peak, but is covered off well by score, and now D13 oh. starting to flex their muscles. T, it's all gone wrong for Marzali. Tamir gets three and Sogu is on his own. They had the setup, they had the five on three, and they weren't even able to kill any one of those single players. There you go, Tamir, one of the more sort of uh, elderly players on this D13 roster, and one of the, you know, more experienced. I believe he was on some of those other Mongolian teams a while back. Now starting to be helped out by some of these younger players. I've definitely got my eyes on score rate and annihilation from this squad. Those are the uh, Mongolian youngsters that, you know, if you see a team like Tiger doing really, really well all of a sudden, and they need a player change, like I've said in the pre-show many times, this is going to be the matches where you're want going to be wanting to play well if you're D13 and you're a young guy trying to impress everybody, show everyone what you're made of. This is where we often do find some of these younger talents. So we've got a keyboard issue on one of the players. It, I'm told, is not going to be a particularly long pause. Should be fixed fairly quickly. Man, it's actually really impressive. Like, you can you can only draw so much from a pistol round, but just the way that score covers off Tamir there, you can see the communications working really nicely for D13. Uh, and that's a, a nice early sign, I'd say, for them heading into this first map of Nuke. Yep. They've been grinding away in some of these qualifiers, so... Not surprising to see them feeling pretty comfortable, even in a three on five, even against some Mongolian legends. They made that one look pretty easy, Jordan. Indeed, they did. Did you know that there's a, a domestic Mongolian league called Mesa League? I did not know that. Yeah, they both play actually in that. Uh, that was back in January. And I was kind of looking at that and I was thinking, you know, surely there's not that many like Mongolian teams, right? There's maybe like three, four kind of teams. I'd say like maybe about four teams. But there was like eight teams playing in that uh, that league. They're all Mongolian players, right? It's crazy. So there's a pretty fledgling scene actually going around with uh, the Mongolian region at the moment. Yep. Well, that's what happens when you're one of the first uh, countries in Asia to come and find some success internationally. You inspire a whole another generation of players to follow in your footsteps. Well, speaking of holes, Pili, there's a hole in the smoke and Zilkenberg is going to take advantage of that. Score cops a big chunk of damage. In the meanwhile, Mr. Cap did manage to find Sogu with that MAC-10 and so player advantage right now for D13 as they try to negotiate this force buy that Marzali have put together. Zilkenberg will rotate his way in through to the Z connector. He gets another shot across there onto Annihilation, but so far so good for D13 as they only just now lose their first player to News. He's trying to hold on to Megaton, but there's plenty of D13 players that he has to be wary of. And sooner or later, Machine Gun Actually going to walk right up onto score and find that kill for free. Doesn't really help too much because the B-bomb site has been cracked open. But he's got himself an AK and that's a nice prize here in round two. Mm. Mara didn't force up with the rest of the lads. Trying to save some money for an AWP, I would imagine. Machine Gun, he has got a kid so he can take his time trying to isolate these one-on-ones. Does not have the head armor here, but the MAC-10 isn't going to really go to town on that. Machine Gun gets dropped down to 10 HP. Seems like he's prepared to cut his losses here. He's happy with that as a result and decides to keep the MAC-10... Uh, sorry, keep the AK through, or at least attempt to keep the AK through. Catches Ooh. Sight of Annihilation, drops him down to 6 HP. 
will probably not survive here against right low on the health that he was, and so that'll be the AK to go back into the hands of D13. Pretty expensive anti-force buy, though, when you consider it ends up being only two players that go through for D13, but at least they keep the two AKs. Alrighty. 2-0 and zero for D13, already off to a fantastic start here on the T side of their map pick. Dealing with that force buy from Marzalite, and uh, I'd imagine they're going to be closing out this anti-eco as well. Building up quite a bit of money. 1500 plus in the bank. As long as they don't lose any picks to these pistols from Marzalite, they're looking pretty good moving forward here. Mr. Cap going to farm a bit of cash up. That's his third or fourth kill with a MAC-10. The rest go the way of the AKs. Uh, D13 will be pretty happy with proceedings so far. Going gets a bit tougher, though, into round number four, where Marzali will opt to buy in. Zilkenberg has the AWP in hand, and we saw him being pretty respectable with that weapon yesterday against Tai Lu. Yes, sir. Let's see if he's able to wield it proficiently against these young boys. That's the go here for D13 in this first round. Early smoke to... Uh, put uh, across those uh, wall of smokes as well for D13. One of them has unfortunately been put out by a molly, I think. So that's going to put a big gap in the smoke, which is going to stop Rake from slipping across the secret. Interesting that uh, Mr. Cap hangs on to the back 10 here. Yeah, why not? He's probably just going to be running straight into this upper side. Leading the charge, perhaps alongside Score. It's actually Score and Annihilation to be the first couple on the entry. And that works out okay. Score got the first and a bit of a messy spray in the end. Mara does get Annihilation. It's News and Zilkenberg who will have to deal with Mr. Cap and Tamir. One plant is attempting to go down. Tamir though plants it in a molly and has to move off. Heading down towards lower. Marzali, definitely not aware of this. I well, might even think if this bomb goes down that this is still going to be an upper's hit. Mr. Cap is hanging around still on the upper side of the map, so it could be a bit interesting. He is going to end up coming through Megaton. I don't think News is going to expect oh, this, no. and Mr. Cap didn't expect it either. They've both had their knife out. They've gone past each other. Not quite like ships in a night. It's more like Titanic and the Iceberg, and this time Mr. Cap plays the role of the Iceberg. Zilkenberg, as well, ends up winning the round. Funny yeah. that. Turns out the Zilkenberg is the best iceberg. Wow. That's like get the first round, but goes down to one gun. Mm. Expensive. Was it worth it? It's D13. Look at their cash. 7 to 9k. They've got another buy after this one as well, Jordan. Yeah, these They're young Very lads. responsible with their money. These days, earning too much money. <laughs> Back in my day. Probably uploading some Fortnite videos on YouTube. Something like that. That's where all the money's coming from. You're trying to get into that YouTube famous game, Jordan? Def yeah, definitely not through uh, Fortnite, though. No. You've casted a Fortnite game or two in the past, Jordan. I have. It was a rough time. All right. Well, Tamir is actually going to go straight through to what? Annex here. Nope. He's not going to Annex. He's going to keep going all the way around Outer. Oh, well, he's uh, kind of been forced to divert. Did he just, I think Zilk just straight in, sprayed him straight through the smoke there. Unfortunate. Yeah. That's going to be a man advantage for Marzali. D13 still deciding what they want to do. Grouped up in radio and lobby. Zilkenberg starting that one off nicely. Machine Gun's actually down in lower towards Secret at the moment. I think Tamir was auditioning for that speed movie where they're in the bus and the brakes aren't working. Because it really seemed like his brakes weren't working there either. Is that Cars 2, Lightning McQueen? No, I think the movie's called Speed, isn't it? I don't know. Fast and Furious, what did you say? Definitely not Fast and Furious. Either way, D13 have managed to peg themselves back another kill. Sogu having a bit of a roughie. 0, 0 and 5 so far in the first five rounds. But if Marzali can pick this one up, then things might start to get a little bit better for them. Build that CT economy up. Annihilation tries to challenge. Score! That was nice. A wall bang. Actually finishes off Mara to trade his teammate down. And he's going to get the smoke in, but it's not going to pop in time. Machine gun a little bit too cheeky there. Leaves it to Mr. Cap in a one on two. Doesn't have much HP here either. And still has to retrieve the bomb, which is not going to be an easy feat. Uses his feet to get over there and pick it up. 
has got the Molotov with 10 seconds to go. Tries to get a wriggle on into lowers, but News not going to let him do it. A Good standout awareness. from yesterday. Shuts it down. Yeah, pretty smart stuff from News there. Marzali put their second on the board. Again, it's not a great round as far as the CT side is concerned, only taking those two guns to, to the next one, but they're at least able to continue to, to put rounds on the board. They're at least able to continue to buy through in these rounds. And it, at the moment, it kind of feels like a matter of time to me before Marzali do put a, a pretty solid round here up against D13 together because it's slowly starting to look like it's coming together for them. Again, a bit of a slower start for D13, setting up in lobby. Zilkenberg creeping up close in elbow. Could be looking to get aggressive, potentially. Has he spotted any toes? Cheeky. Tries to underarm the HE nade. Just goes a little bit too deep around the corner there, and Tamir not going to cop any damage. And Zilkenberg. I don't know what he's really going for there, but he is feeling confident with that MP9. Definitely playing with fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, D13, some forward positions. Annihilation and raid rate, sorry, on that outside area. Looking like uh, D13 are looking to potentially cross to secret. About 50 seconds on the ticker. I think machine gun this time is in the back of warehouse rather than in unders. So it will really be up to Mara to rotate down the vent or Zilkenberg to try to rotate to Megaton. But with an MP9, I don't think he's going to be doing too much from a position like that as D13 get a wriggle straight into the site. News is actually the one who's in position here. Has to get that AK out, holding behind the doors. He gets the timing pretty nice. I think he got headshot through the wall or something. But either way, News still survives, still fighting. As the players start to come out from Decon, it's a big exchange of frags and damage. Most importantly, on to the D13 members who are now very low. A couple of them sitting on 19, Tamir at 64. Held this nicely with three players in the pistol. Can they do it with the guns? Unfortunately, they don't have much HP to work with, so they're going to need to hit some pretty sharp headshots. Rate will get flashed into Megaton, but Sogu avoids that pretty nicely. And now it's on to Annihilation only here by Control Room, who will deal with Sogu. Machine Gun's low on HP, taking that challenge, but Annihilation, he's run out of ammo, and I think it's taken him now too long to deal with Machine Gun. He won't be able to get down there and stop the defuse. Mara sitting behind the silo, comfortably getting it. But again... Expensive. A very expensive round. This is where I'd like to see the half buy from D13, and they've gone straight for it. These guys are switched on. They're very, very good with their economic management. I have to give them that. They got uh, plenty of buy rounds after that early advantage that they earned themselves in the first round. And then it seems like they're very well aware of the economic position Marzalai's in. And some other Asian teams might try to force the issue, might try to force buy or something like that. D13 instead, they've got something very specific in mind. It's an uppers rush with the CZs. Yeah, Flash is going in there. That's why Rate's looking at the floor, but he's not able to hang on to that kill against Machine Gun, who will end up finishing him off. D13, uh, you said they had something in mind. Whatever they did have in mind uh, didn't really work out too nicely. I don't know, one more kill, and uh, it's pretty much paid for itself, Jordan. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I think that's off the back of Annihilation. Getting that second frag, making this look a little more interesting. Zilkenberg might walk into the headshot angle. Tamir did get news, and well, it's exactly as you mentioned. Now an AWP in his hand. How much more damage can he really do? Bit of extra shots available to him here, but in the end, Marzali will go through with two. Still not the round that Marzali was looking for. No, losing a whole bunch of guns to those pistols is going to make it expensive for their economy. So you can see they're still pretty broke, having to drop over a couple of weapons. And now D13, reinvesting, have put themselves in a position, very smartly, I might add, to reset Marzali's cash and start to really front run on the T side of Nuke if they can convert this round. I feel like we've been saying that for the last four rounds, though. It's literally just... You can copy-paste my commentary over it onto every game. I don't even know why I'm still here. Yeah, I just need a soundboard. <laughs> they could win if they reset the economy. <laughs> They could win if they reset the economy. Uh, Tice the best. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> well, here we go again. Annihilation's on into the A-bomb site. This is looking a little bit better for Marzali as they've kept it to four on two. Just need to ensure that they don't drop any more of these guns. Myra's low on HP, but he did a good job on that quick rush in. And score! 
He gets Sogu. So, you know, we're back to the exact same. It's deja vu. It's Bomb plant's going down. Three on two. It's the two youngsters. Even if Marzali win here, D13 still keeping them under the pump. I've got to say, mate, they're in some pretty good positions. Rate CT event scores over near Squeaky. This is a great post plant setup. Great. Might have been spotted on the way in there. We'll see, though. They are certainly checking it. News has got no idea where he's being shot from. Marzali. We'll find that one for one. It's Mara that got the kill on to score, and now Wraith just has to fall to Machine Gun. Ooh. Again, another round for Marzali, but again, another round with only one player alive. And Man, Marzali cannot get a comfortable round win here. And D13 now, with that loss bonus and the bomb plant, have reduced Marzali's loss bonus to zero, continue to keep their money low, and if they... Hold on, hold on. What's the soundboard, Jordan? Can you play it for me? Reset the economy of Marzali. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I love this. Like, D13 lose the round. They're playing well. But Marzali has less money. Yeah, no, they're playing well at the moment. This is textbook. Like, all they got to do is just convert one of these rounds. Double up, actually, this time from Marzali. That's interesting. The difficulty is, you. though, like, you you're, you say that, but it's also on... The onus is there on Marzali as well. It's like, all they need to do is convert one of these rounds as well. It's like, both teams kind of this tug of war, and it, it's got to feel really, really awful to be on the receiving end of these kinds of rounds, that Marzali just keep being able to sneak through with a yeah. victory. But then, you know, D13 just wipes away their tears with their loss bonus, Jordan. That's the thing. Well, loss bonus is only going to get you so far. Eventually, they need to get rounds on the board. This is pretty nice. Double molly in towards secret. Smoke onto the windows. Rate's just thrown a, mo a Molotov over towards heaven. And D13, they're going to wrap towards ladder base. This is beautiful stuff. Machine gun in the back warehouse is sweat. Oh, Zilkenberg, he misses that shot. But machine gun not sweating so much. He's shooting bullets at Annihilation and making it work. So good. We'll get traded on down, and this is uh, an interesting engagement here for Zilkenberg. Not expecting the player so close. Oh, oh no! Oh. Score! Why didn't he shoot? Why didn't he shoot? That was a free kill. Zilkenberg shuts him down, and this, maybe this, is the round that Marzali is finally looking for. Hey, just wait. Cause, uh, just right? He's right. <laughs> he's my mate. Can I ask him on a date? Maybe. I, he's underage, though, so I'm probably going to jail. Oh, no. Going to jail just for thinking about it. <laughs> 18 seconds here for Rate to do any damage. What do you reckon? Has he got any kind of a chance here, Jordan? With you? <laughs> no. Has he got any chance here in a one-on-four? Also no. But he might save the AK. Still, it'll be a sigh of relief for Marzali. They've been searching for something like this for such a long time. And look at the wonders that does for their economy. Holy dooly. Mara. Mara! Yeah, that is the correct pronunciation. Well, he's got two A's, so you need to call him Mara! <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say Mara. It's Mara! So, so goo. Yeah. Mara. And how about uh, Tamir Rita? Yeah. I like it. Skazirawa. <laughs> if we keep going with that, Tamir actually kills his teammate, right? He's not happy with how things have been going. He did get one opener and another one there as well. So it's just continuing the way that it has been in these first, I was going to say couple of rounds, but let's be honest, we're nine rounds into the half. Oh. And Marzali still haven't taken a hold of their economy, despite winning six in a row. Look at score. He's been watching some parkour videos, and Annihilation, true to his name, is wiping out Marzali. Surely score Ooh. can finish this off. No, Zilkenberg has been given a bit too much room to work with, but Annihilation, light armor and an AK and a few frags to his name. If he finds some good angles and some good timings onto these CTs, he could definitely make this work, Jordan. You're absolutely right. Reset the economy of Marzali. Yeah, yeah, it would. That's what I want to see. I don't know if it would as good as here if you're thinking of, Jordan. No, but uh, at least it would go the news distance. And, news and Mara would be pretty poor. It would just put Marzali back to that square one where they have to keep fighting for their economy. By the way, Sogu's not too keen on peeking this one, and you can understand why. He looks worried. Oh, 
all he's waiting for is that bomb plant noise. And that, I think, is when Sogu will start to creep out and have a look and see what's going on. Here we go. Sogu works his way forward. He sees the bomb plant, knows exactly where Annihilation has to be. And that'll be an easy round for him in the end. So good. So good. I got you. Da, 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 da. Banana boat. <laughs> <laughs> I got no idea. Zilkenberg is giving time for Sogu to find that second orb. So they want to go into a double orb here, Mars Fly. The double warp up. You love to see it. Could go for that right now, hey. Yeah. Fangin. I'm absolutely fangin. Look at these chads on D13, by the way. Absolute chads. They're matching. I call them chatty daddies. Don't like that. You don't like that at all? No. no. Look at him, he's bopping. I reckon I could have a hairstyle like that if I just shaved the side of my head. <laughs> pretty much what my hair is doing. <laughs> I can also actually grow a beard like that too. That could be me. They've actually put me in the server. You know how like they made James Bartle for CT on Nuke? <laughs> now they've made Elfish Guy, but Chad Elfish Guy on the T side. Uh, borderline racism. No. He's made that joke himself. Okay. It's okay if they, if they say it themselves. Of course. All right. Well... D13, looking to reset the economy of Marzali, finally. <laughs> reset the economy of Marzali. <laughs> Can they actually do it, finally? They've been waiting. Where's news with that other, well, secret as well as outside. So, with how D13 sort of approaching, it's actually the left side of the map, Wall of Smokes, over here towards Warehouse and Annex, which sort of... Uh, Indicates that D13's looking to go for an Annex bust, and here we go. Well, Score is headed on his way in there. Good flash on, uh, well, both the CT and the T, but Score still manages to get the engagement. That's big from Sogu, though. He's dropped the bomb, and Marzali are going to be creeping around trying to get back up to the A bomb site. Maybe Sogu doesn't need the help, though. He'll flash himself out here. Score oh. locked in behind CT Vent. Also falls, oh. and Sogu, he nearly pulls off a magical round on his own. Either way, He's done enough there on that CT side hold of the A-bomb site to keep Marzali pretty comfy. Rate wasn't really able to do too much damage there to Machine Gun. And so 8 to 3, and Marzali continue to march nicely on this CT side of Nuke. D13 have been given more money to buy. To try and reset the economy of Marzali. And <laughs> rhymes. I don't know if they, they're really resettable anymore. Maybe Machine Gun is. Mara probably would only have like 3k if they lose this round. But the rest of them, they'll be fine, Jordan. Yeah, it's been going a little bit better for Marzali in the last few rounds, hasn't it? Zilkenberg there as well, starting off against oh. Mr. Cap. And there is a huge oh. hole in the smoke. I've never seen a bigger hole in the smoke in my life. There you go. Rates used it beautifully, but news already down here in lowers. It's becoming a bit of an issue here for D13. And you can't keep peeking him like that, lad, surely. That's oh why. my god. Soku as well has joined news down and lower and cleaned up the rest of D13. And that's going to be a 9-3 lead for Marzali on D13's map pick. This T side is getting shut down every which way. You know what I like about Marzali is that their name is just, it really rolls off the tongue nicely. Marzali. Yeah. But isn't it according to your principle of letters, Ma Maz... Ah, lie. Mazar lie. <laughs> I feel like uh, I sound a bit like the Microsoft Sam. Do you remember that? Windows XP, you could, the, the text to speech bot. Hello, Jordan. <laughs> That's not at all what it sounded like. <laughs> what does it sound like then? Just, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's too embarrassing. I've already embarrassed myself enough on this cast. Yeah, and that has nothing to do with the jokes. No. Half five for D13. Looking for damage here against the CT side. It's going to be a grenade. Ooh, I was going to say to break squeaky door. Looks like it's still. What's D13 going to do with that? Because they're all grouped up. Plus forward. You heard of that tactic? Quick play Ooh, down. down the vent. You the love vents. to see it. 
You don't really see that many vent drops anymore. No, but it's worked very well. That was kind of like a delayed vent drop. Yeah. Well, bomb's going down. News needs to be careful. Oh, he's being careful, oh, but score. maybe not enough. Score just gets the timing right, peeks around. News not able to react in time. Ooh. Hara falls to Mr. Cap as well. Maybe this is the round that Deep 13 is looking for to salvage their half, because it's been looking pretty rough up to this point, but actually, here could be a difference maker. Machine Gun has other ideas, though, as he goes charging forward. Score can't reload the CZ in time. The bomb's ticking incredibly quickly, and Marzalei are so damn low. Zilkenberg gets around Ooh. behind Mr. Cap. He's going to have to dive on the bomb. He's Probably got no kit, unfortunately. Have... Oh, yeah, he yeah, doesn't. I was going to say, he could have run through that molly. Finishes off Annihilation. He's really not happy with how that round's panned out. No. But D13 do pick up their fourth. Two orbs retained. That's pretty critical, actually, for Marzalei, given their economic situation. Well, yeah, it is. Now they're broke, though, with no loss bonus. Six, well, one loss bonus, but still not enough to really recover. So, if D13 actually wins this round after getting that tech knife... <laughs> Break the economy of Marzali. <laughs> they could they could do it, finally, the last round of the half. They've been yeah. trying to do it this whole half. And in theory, that would be the perfect time to do it because that would give them the nine, sixth six. round. Yeah, that's a pretty good T-side score on their map peak. Uh, running into news through a smoke. I didn't think it was going to go well for them, but Annihilation has done just that. Zilkenberg is going to get annihilated himself. Or rather, Annihilation is going to get annihilated himself by Zilkenberg. Tamir drops down right on top of Machine Gun, who was holding on to an AWP, and that's not a favorable aim duel for the AWP at all. Ara already down on the B site, but a little over-eager, and hey, it's starting to come together for D13. Yep, pieces are all coming together. They've been playing the percentages, you know, even if they haven't been picking up a lot of these gun rounds, um, they've been playing it correctly. They've been half buying at the right situations. They've been trying to make the most. You know, a lot of the time in the Asian region, we'll watch these teams buy pistol and armor and just be like, nah. and they just kind of like walk around for a while, like, oh, I guess I'll just kind of like peek out Palace, try yeah. and see what happens. And then they get absolutely owned and there's four players surviving for the CT side. D13, with their they got pistol, some strats. pistol rushes. Yeah, straight into upper, some nice flashbangs. The vent drop worked beautifully for them in the last round, giving themselves a chance to use those pistols very effectively to win some rounds, if not do quite a bit of damage to the CT economy. And you can see the fruits of their labor here is giving them a potential to get themselves a much easier sixth round. Well, it is there. The potential is not. It's actually been realized. And they now I just have to execute Intel, moments of brilliance. Well, yeah. I mean, this whole half has been pretty good from D13. Well, if you remember, there has been quite a few moments of brilliance, actually. Yes. So, pretty rough buy for Marzali going into the final round of the half, and D13 looking pretty good to get a sixth. Yep. I'd say it's anyone's game still, though. Ooh, love this. Sogu pushing into heart. Yeah. Even though Mr. Cat was ready for it, Sogu's just so sharp. The double ding straight to the face of the man. Unfortunately, it is one of the M4s that's been dropped. Mara's going to look for... Look where News is as well. He's walked straight through his smoke. Oh, a lot of flashbangs getting thrown in there. News is the difference maker here. Tamir trying to hold him off. But this has really slowed D13 down. And that allows Machine Gun a one-on-one -on -one against Rate. And then Annihilation. And maybe even Tamir as well. It's not News that gets the kills. But it is News that finds the round winning play there for Marzalai. He walks through his own smoke for the second time this round. Now he's found himself in door. Oh! He's not oh, looking in the right dear. angle. And now, Jameer straight down lower. Machine Gun spotted him out. Jameer actually hesitates there. Oh, Machine Gun just lost like half his HP dropping down the ladder. That's all right, because he is here very fastly. Oh, no! Uh, What's going on? Well, Machine Gun's like second-guessed himself there. Someone must have called it and said it's A, and he was like, no, nah, no way. Oh, Does Jameer. he just sit the defuse here? He doesn't have doesn't a kit. Have a kit yeah. How okay. can you do it? He's just going for it. Well, <laughs> whatever. That's the end of the round and the end of the half. Six to nine, D13 did a good job of coming back into the swing of things there after trying the whole half to reset the economy of Marzali. But here we go into half time. Don't go too far though. The second half of Nuke, back after this.
safe for me Even though we burn from the light I bleed Does she bring me back? Not a heart attack Could take away all the love I had for you It bleeds for you, it bleeds again Only break Here we go into the second half between Marzali and D13. It's the Mongolian Derby and Machine Gunner 15 to 8 half. Zilkenberg 16 9. You look at that and you think, great, must have gone pretty well for Marzali. And to be fair, it did until the last three rounds where they got their economy reset and D13 snaked away a six round on the T side scoreline, which is not too bad now heading into the CT side of Nuke. We'll see whether Marzali can continue to put pressure on them though here, winning the pistol round. Uh, push straight into the ramp room. Rate's going to start off with this first initial pick and Tamir also annihilation. All of D13 landing some crisp USP headshots here and that's it. Easy as you like, a whole bunch of one taps from the USPs and D13 off to a great start on the CT side. And you were getting so excited for that pistol round because you got the chance to play by play it and it just did not exist. No. Well, in all honesty, I was getting ready to throw it to you for the last two kills and then by the time that I was, you know, about to stop talking, there was just two more one taps. Yeah. That's clean though from D13 and a perfect, perfect way to start off their CT side here on Nuke. Marzali will in Invested absolutely nothing into the round. Yep, five clocks. This is, uh, well, from the way that they're looking at playing it, the uh, round where they just have a chat. Bit of a have a chat clock round. Surely they had enough time to have a chat during that halftime break. That's what you say, but in reality, it's nice to just have a chat directly the round before you're about to do something. Just be like, hey guys, remember what we're doing next round, first gun round. And then someone goes, wait, I can't remember how to throw that smoke. You go, uh, well, no problem, because uh, you see this uh, Annihilation guy on the other team, he's pretty good, and we'll be replacing him with you. <laughs> or you with him. Not if D13 beats Marzali, it's going to be pretty hard to poach their players if they end up being the better team. How could you say no to Machine Gun? How could you? Look um, at his hat. <laughs> Got a great hat. 8, 9, Marzali looking for the purchase in this round. And D13 are going to have a bonus here, so opportunity for a little quick bite back from Marzali. First Gunny, what's Marzali got for us on the cards? Looking like quick smoke, close outers. Whole bunch of these players committing to that outer's push without a wall of smoke, just taking that fight with the Heaven player if there was one. And they've already made their way across the secret, but the push through the smoke from Mr. Cap, easy as you'd like with the MP9, and Soku's got his Nikes on all the way in CT form. Bit of proactive gameplay on the CT side here from D13. Perhaps a little too proactive in the end there from Tamir as he walks right into Mara. Sogu will hang on to that spray as well. Annihilation recognizing this might not be the fight that he wants to take. 
Meanwhile, score in the vents, Annihilation. There's just action happening all over the map. MC's losing his goddamn mind. Yeah, I mean, not only is Nuke probably one of the worst maps, if not the worst map to uh, observe, it's also D13 and Marzali are literally running at each other <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Two players running at them out, outside. Nice flashbang sets up news to be peeking into upper. He's going to molly off hut. And it's looking like Marzali taking control of this upper bomb site. But Score's got other ideas. Peeking out from squeaky door. One tap onto news. And now into a 1v2. Machine gun. Can he convert a clutch here for Marzali? Be a pretty big one to win. Keep them up 10 and 8. He has an AK in hand. If he sneaks down into the B bomb site and gets a bomb plant, it's entirely possible. He's a sneaky boy. As actually just moves straight between the two players. Bit of snolid snake action from Machine Gun. He's going to put that bomb down out in the open. Both of these two players immediately dropping down vent. Smoke off on Decon. Creates a bit of space here for Machine Gun to try to isolate a one on one duel. Surely he doesn't just walk straight through that smoke. Ready and waiting is machine gunning. Here's the door open. Is the glass broken? I think it is, yeah. Oh, score was able to get out. And Great. Gets the trade. It seems as though we're going to get a sense of deja vu out of this half, aren't we? D13, they do go down to only one gun alive, which means they're going to have to fully reinvest here. Oh, Hasn't got it. no. I thought he had it. You know, I always back the pro players, right? When they're sitting the defuse, I'm like, they've got it. Surely they know more than me. And, I mean, I guess it's not a repeat of the first half because actually the T-side won the round. Can you can you believe that? I can't believe it. I just watched it. <laughs> Number one. There you go. Machine God at his finest. 1v2 clutch. Beautifully done. Showing these Mongolian youngsters that he's still got it. Ah. Uh... Okay. Not sure about that one. <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. So Marzali, they're just going to take a tactical timeout. Bit of a BM pause, really. Like, haha, didn't defuse the bomb. Idiots. Maybe next time, press the buttons faster, bro. 10 to 8, though, Marzali. That's a, a bit of a cheeky one, but actually could be pretty impactful in the context of this map. It gives them a really good shot at resetting D13's economy now. Well, I think we've got a new sound bite. Resetting the economy of D13. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, both both teams are going to be really broke. This is quite an important round, actually. Nades on towards outside. No one's really copped any damage just yet. Zilkenberg straight down vents with the MAC-10. Marzali seeing if they can sneak across outers, and I think Zilk has gotten the timing here onto Rate. Should be the easiest kill of his life. Yeah, right. is not going to check that one out at all. He's like, what gun am I going to get here? Oh, it's just like a Mac 10, but a little bit different. Ooh, news cops a couple of shots. Not shots, sorry. Tags from that molly. Couple of ouchies. Yeah, a little of a burn on your foot. Zilkenberg oh continues the good work with a Mac 10. This time, he'll be rewarded with an M4. He's doing it all on his own for Marzalite. Rest of them are like, hey, cool, man. Thanks for this lower bomb site. Great work. Score starts to work his way in. Machine gun does just cross. Doesn't even take a lick of damage there. And Mara's still lurking in uh, lobby at the moment. I guess you just save right now. Yeah. Well, the problem is if Mr. Cap actually leaves this upper bomb site and goes towards Annex side, well, Mara's moved now. But you could have been seeing uh, old mate killing him. D13 trying to hold on to these weaponries. All things considered, what do they lose? MP9, M4, if they hold on to their other three guns, it's okay. But Nuke is starting to slip away from the Jordan. Is that okay? No, it's not. It's their map choice. It's a map that they have lost in the past as well to Marzali. If they keep picking it. <sighs> that was last year, though. That was last year. Um, it's 2020. New Year's right. resolution, beat Machine God. They've done it already in 2019. You know, it's not like it's not like something they haven't done before. Beat somebody. Work yeah. your way through the best players in Asian history. 
Would you say somebody's the best player in Asian history? Asian CS history? No, I'm just saying he's on, the li he's on the list. Has to be Bentet, surely. Does it? I mean, he's playing internationally. Yeah. Look, he's having I'd better time on I'd say Machine Gun Gun's did. on that list. Bentet, somebody. I don't know who. Kaze. Oh, what's Kaze done internationally? Oh, he's been to Katowice. Yeah. Went pretty well there. Look, I'm a big Kaze fan. And but some of the he had some of the European players being like this Kazo guy's pretty good. I don't think he Twitter. has the same name power as someone like somebody or Bentet right now. Okay, bro. Not Tell yet. that to his AK form in. I'll uh, tell you what. It's an interesting. It's an interesting topic. We oh, might, uh, is it, Jordan? We <laughs> might have to make a podcast about it if you're interested. Look, I'm geographically challenged on YouTube. Finally, it's taken you <laughs> just till the end of day two to name drop it. I've been trying to bait you. Yeah. Elfishkai on YouTube. Elfishkai. <laughs> YouTube. Elfishkai <laughs> everywhere, really. Well, There's nothing happening in this round. Like, come on, what else am I supposed to talk about? <laughs> well, Tamir's push shoot door. That's something. I think Mara's about to... Ooh. Oh, my God. The double dink. Never mind. Mara's about to do absolutely nothing. Get the hell out of the server. 4v5 as Mars are like, They're trying to make something happen here. They're still very split up, though, John. Well, it'd be an important round to win for D13. They've put a lot of money into it. News is going to drop Tamir. That brings it back to a 4 versus 4. And Zilkenberg continues to persist with the MAC-10. This time doesn't have the success that he did in the last round. Hello. But the rest of his team is working their way into A. Sogu has spotted out Mr. Cat. Machine gun ready and waiting. Won't win that aim tool, Ooh. but you're never expecting news to come from upper. Mr. Cat digs him anyway. Now it's on Ray. Who's... Irrelevant at this point oh, wow. as Annihilation has just cleaned that one up. Where the hell has that come from from D13? What a messy round. End of the day, though, they weren't expected to win that round. That's put them in a good position economically, but Marzali had a bit of money in the back pocket to sustain that loss after some good work on the lower bomb site in the last round. So it's not ideal, but Marzali, they're going to be able to sustain losing a round like that and still try to keep fighting for Nuke here. But damn, is this back and forth. It really is, as we like to see in domestic matchups. 11 to 9, favoring Marzali. They're on the T side, and the economy very low for D13. Annihilation now has an orb, and he just gets off the line at the wrong time. Zilkenberg gets the timing right, now continues to push, actually, and looks for the pick onto Tamir. That'll be Soku's job as well, and some decent damage done there. But at the end of the day, it is a one-for-one. One. Yep, and Zilk's going to continue his rampage. Picks up score as well. That's a pick over towards ladder base, which is going to create space for News to start to make his way up into heaven if he wishes to do so. Old mate uh, Tamir is down in lowers. Breaks in ramp, and Mr. Cap's all alone on the upper bomb site, and he's just going to try and escape into Annex. See if he can find Machine Gun, or if Machine Gun can find him, maybe. It will be that way around, unfortunately, for D13, and Amazali's got a two-man advantage. Oh, this is the round, I think, that could be the difference maker in the entire context of the map. D13 will be reset. Marzali start to build that lead, build that gap a little bit substantially, a little bit more substantially at least. News will finish off right, and Tamir won't get any more done. They're going to have to take a save here, D13. New soundboard. Reset the economy of D13. There you go. And Marzali now will probably push this to 13-9. That's a four-round gap. Yeah, and the T side, you know, we always talk about it, right? The CT side comebacks are so, so difficult because of the economy, the way That's it true. is. Yeah, score's got 1,500 in the bank. It's not ideal. Um, if they have a clean one here um, in terms of the anti-eco, and if Soku gets a couple kills with that MAC-10, I'm saying that uh, Marzali probably going to have like 5, 6K in the bank heading into this next round. Uh, should they close out this anti-eco? So that's going to give him two to three buys. D13, on the other hand, very broke. They're going to go score a deagle, and they're going to go, come on, mate. Zuckerberg. <laughs> cousin of Zoidberg. I thought it was cousin of the iceberg. Yeah. That was a good analogy, if I do say so myself. Thanks, man. Especially because, like, you know, Marzali are bears and you got polar bears. True. Well, Mongolia is a cold place. Uh, I like cold drinks. You see where we're going with this? Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. Just pistols in this round for D13. And already a fair chunk of damage over to score. Annihilation cops a bit as well. Azalei are probably feeling pretty comfortable as to how things have been going so far. Slower approach this time on the T side. They know they're up against a weaker buy. They don't want to throw it away. Wraith, however, could do some good work to follow up what has been thrown in by Tamir. Not this time. Not just yet. Score still hanging around as well. This is not looking that ideal, honestly, for Marzali. They're kind of being surrounded by D13 players. The utility is not going where it needs to to pull Wraith out of his position. He actually manages to grab one. Six HP, and he's gotten some good value by getting the kill onto Sogu. Oh, oh it's all going wrong. Marzali have let that slip something chronic. That's an AWP, an AK, two AKs, in fact, for D13. And they're right back into the equation. That's the second time in three or four rounds that D13 have won with a handful of pistols, maybe one or two guns. Unbelievable. Mazalai, they cannot complete these anti-ecos. This is just unacceptable. And now they're going to, uh, unfortunately, be feeling the effects of that. Zilkenberg, uh, actually it was Soku who is broke, has to go down to a Deagle and armor. The rest of the lads enough for AK armor. Yeah, I don't think you're taking Zilkenberg, who's 21 and 14, your top fragger off of a rifle in a round like this. Man, that is a crushing blow for Marzali. Not crushing necessarily, but really, they could have just ended the map here and there. But they've given D13 that opportunity again. The door has just come slightly ajar, and now it's a question of whether or not D13 can rip that door open. Give themselves the map victory here. 10 to 12. It's still going to be a hard task for D13, particularly given the fact that they lose Mr. Cap early on in this round. Yeah, look, Zuckerberg continuing his good form. And as far as I'm considered, oh, news picks up Tamir. Put him off guard. I think Tamir thought he was safe to fall back there, but unfortunately just panicking and trying to rush back into secret a little too quickly. And I'm pretty sure that D13 are looking like they're about to drop this round. In comes the Annex split rate. Going to try and pick off one of the players as they come into upper successfully against Machine Gun. Oh, right, looking to go huge here, but just gets smashed out of the server by News. And there's some news for you. Annihilation as well, copping a headshot. It looks like he should not survive here. Bit of a messy spray there from Sogu, but we'll finish it in the end. 13-10, mm. and I guess that is making amends for the last round, really, there for Marzali, because they have, once again, fully reset D13. Yeah, until they lose the pistols in this round. That's right, but at least for now, we can give them some props. Very good job, Marzali. Very good. Everyone clap. Can you get some claps in the Twitch chat, please? Do you have clappers? I'm sure that Twitch chat can find a way to make an emote clap. Dude, Zilkenberg's on one this game. Look at him go. He is just absolutely 22 and 15. Whew. Machine gun as well. Playing pretty well. Vintage, one might say. Oh, rolling back the years. What, you think you young Mongolian blokes are just going to start playing Counter-Strike, do you? I don't think so. Well, Annihilation certainly thinks that because he's pushed aggressively toward lobby. See Zilkenberg, though, just pushes him away. He says, no thanks, not interested in any of those shenanigans. <laughs> What is News doing under ladder base? Ooh. Pulls out the Glock as well and double ticks Mr. Cap. Excuse me. What is that repeat? What is this round? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> MC. MC's over this. He's Scorch having an aneurysm. Up the bed. Oh, <laughs> I feel Silkenberg. What is what going is on? happening, Mara? He's trying to pick up the pieces. It's a one versus two. The bomb's down under ladder, Jordan. You've absolutely ruined it, Pilly. You've done it. It was your fault. <laughs> you were talking about this at the start of the round, and here we are. Mara Tars now with a one on two. Uh, to be fair, it was a force buy. They didn't actually say, but still, it was a handful of pistols and armor. Bloody Score. Hell. Where's he at? Looks like he's towards CT Outers. Bomb retrieved by Mara here. Mr. Cap's in the back of Secret. I would imagine that Score is going to go walk about through Secret towards lower, but Mr. Cap. What a position. I think he's preempted this one, and surely Mara's going to be copying a bullet in the back of the head. Great oh, off angle from God. this man. This is absolute madness right now in Road to Rio for Asia. Mara, does he check it? Mr. Cap is watching. You were exactly right in your prediction, Pili. It is Mara that will end up falling, and here we are, 13 to 11, back on that wild ride again. And look at the money for Marzali. It's cooked. Oh, I really wish Blair was here to experience that with us. Blair would have died of a stroke by now. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, man. Tactical timeout for T13. Off the back of losing that round, they realise they're in a fantastic position and they definitely cannot afford to let it go by the wayside. Marzali, on the other hand, have unfortunately kind of thrown that last round in the bin, keeping things a little bit too loosey-goosey. And so now they will have to take a singular save. But look, let's face it, Jordan. Yes, these last couple of rounds have been an absolute clown fiesta. But Marzali, they are still in a pretty decent position in this game. Oh, don't no. do it. Don't even, don't even do it. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh. <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't handle it. <laughs> You're broken. This entire match has just broken you, I think. Right? He's fully flashed. Marzali surely get the kill here, and they do. They've run him over. Don't tell me it's going to happen again here. Pistol's too powerful. Get rid of the guns. The AWP doesn't matter. Give me a CT. <laughs> give me a Deagle. Give me a Glock. Give me a Tech 9. Anything's better than an actual gun in this game between D13 and Marzali. It's unbelievable. Bomb goes down in lower to Mir. He's trying to make something happen. Patience oh. did not pay off for Zilkeberg, actually. And Machine Gun. There you go. There's a kill for the man. Picked up a Famous. Oh, no! Soku with a Glock, no less. <laughs> okay, they can still do oh, this, Mr. Cap. Thank Mr. God. Cap. Thank God I can breathe again. <laughs> I'm watching Counter-Strike again. <gasps> well, Jordan, I have something to tell you, and you're not going to like it. What's that? That was a lot of kills for Marzali in that round with just the pistols. They got the bomb down. This is going to be a good buy. D13 are going to have to reinvest, and... Reset the economy of D13. I'm dying right here. Man, if Zilkenberg gets that kill onto Annihilation, totally different round, hey? For sure. Gosh, a Glock. A Glock of all things. Marzali are pretty broke. D13 are pretty broke. You know what that means, Jordan? This round, very important. Let's see who's going to be taking it out. Found the way from Zilkenberg early on. Marzali getting some smokes ready from spawn to send news across outers. Annihilation, I like the change up. Going to be orping towards secret this time around. That could be a bit of a freebie onto news, all things considered. If this round turns out well for D13. No one's got pistols this time around, so I'd say it's a fairly even round. Out come the wall of smokes. Pamir, trying to see if he can spot anything but has been denied all of the vision. Oh. But there you go, Annihilation right from the start of the round in towards Secret. Man is this, advantage. Is this really happening? Is D13 making this comeback happen on the CT side? Marzali are giving them that many chances. They grouped up in lobby. They're just going to try and bust into uppers and hit some clean shots, but it's just a nice off angle. Mr. Cap actually drops down due to the molly. Oh, timing's not too bad for him there. Just peeks back. Mara will go down. Sogu looking for some entries, and he was nearly able to get a few. It's on to Zilkenberg here. He's been the standout for the map for Marzali, but rate goes one better, and we equalize at 13 13. It does cost a few guns for mm. D13, but they will take it. Yep. It was a nice. Uh positioning out there in secret from the AWP that gave D13 the round off of not having news in a good position. Marzali opted to go and just push straight into the upper bomb site. Mara, that is uh, not really what you'd want to be going for. Don't think the force was really necessary. He's tried to go for the hero AK. I don't know. I mean, I guess the argument is here that they give themselves a chance to win this round. Yeah, but... You just not, go throw that if you're to somebody gonna else and not white peak outers into an all. Yeah, I mean, that I will definitely agree with you on. News oh. is going to have a tough time here against Tamir, who looks pretty interested in peaking outer. Okay, this is starting to look pretty bad for Marzali now. They need to probably take attack pause. I'm not sure if they've got any left. Well, they haven't done any damage. The economy of D13 is the problem. So heading towards the tail end of this game, if the CTs are able to establish strong money as well as a round lead, it gives them the ability to potentially lose a round to a pocket strat at Marzali and be able to recover from that and adjust. So that's, that's gonna a be it. very, very clean anti-eco. Well, finally, D13 is able to get one with five alive. Oh. Now Mara's got to go down to a Galil. Only one flashbang for the man. Definitely not the ideal buy. Totally agree. 
Yeah, give him a follow on the Twitters. Yep. MCCSGO. He's going to say... B. 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 He, they're going to go B. We've got a prediction from the Observer. The Marzali guys are going B in this round. I'd say that he's going to be correct. Marzali straight down the secret towards B. It was actually a love heart, Pilly, but it was terribly drawn. So we're just going to go with that B uh, analogy. Exactly. They're going B. They're going B, and they are. I mean, look, MC is just a, an absolute big brain god. Hasn't worked out too well for Marzali. I guess they're not the big brain fire. gods. That is huge from D13, and surely now this is D13 marching their way to a victory <laughs> on Nuke against all the odds. Not even close. Just headshots are plenty from these Mongolian youngsters. Score shutting them out down at door. You got Rate being your best mate. What else could you really want, Jordan? A crate? Drop in the chat. No, that is, uh, as we've established, I think it was earlier this year, or was it last year? Milk crates are a very dangerous weapon. When did we establish that? That, that bloke who went crazy in the CBD. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. There you go, Mr. Caps found the toes of Zilk. Is there some life still in Marzali? Perhaps it's, not. It's 10 seconds into the round, Jordan. There's been like four ape duels. Tamir's just wide peeking out. He does not care. D13 want this over and done. It's all on machine gun and Zilk. And score is again locking down door. It's wow. my favorite phrase of the night. Wow. Oh, wow. Marzali. 13 to 15. It's going to be 16 up on the board shortly for D13. Mara goes down to rate, and that is the end of the map. Can you believe it? They've come back from such a deficit and on the CT side as well. Credit to D13. That's a fantastic map played by them, and we are going to talk a lot about that when we come back.